today, um, we're going to start with lesson one, grade seven, term two, um, and the topic is fractions. So on your right hand side, you will see then the link that links to the DBE workbook. So I just open it and you can see it links to that um, lesson. Um, I'm going back to the lesson um, and here what you will have is the link to the CAPS curriculum to see what are we covering. And then we always add a dictionary um, to have more clarity on specific words. Um, the learners don't have to memorize these definitions, but rather understand them. Then what we have is we have our mental maths. And what we do is we could just remove it. Or if you have the printed out version, you could just cover it up. And what the learners then do to do is to do these um, mentally. So I'm going to give you an option to pause and then um, the learners can do it um, orally or they can write it down on a piece of paper. Well done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the activity. I'm just quickly going to give you the answers. Um, you can pause here again um, and then you can quickly have a look at what you got. Um, and you can quickly mark it. Okay, I hope you did well. Um, if you got less than 8 out of 10, maybe make a copy of this and go and practice it separately because these are very important skills we're going to need later on. So let's then carry on um, with fractions. So today, um, Firstly, I think what's very important is that you need to explain to somebody what is a fraction. Um, if you can't remember, just go back one page. Um, and what we will find there, there is a definition of fractions. So the, let's then carry on with the concept development. So the, the best always is to draw a number line from 0 to 1. And then um, in this case, the number line is equally divided into four pieces. So then we can label it quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Let's look at the one year. The one year is, if it's fifths, it means the, the number line from zero to one is equally divided into five pieces. So um, I want you to pause the year, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have a look at this number line and then see in what is it equally divided, and then fill in the fractions. Okay, um, what we notice here, it's divided into eight equal pieces. So this will be one eighth, two eighths, and if we carry on, this will be seven eighths, um, this will be eight eighths, or one. Um, then what we can do is we can also carry on with the number lines. But what we will note here is that we have the number line is divided into tens. So this whole number line is then divided into 10 equal pieces. And we it's then one tenth up to nine tenths. Remember, one can we also write as 10 tenths. This is later going to be very important to understand decimal fractions or to work with decimal fractions, and then we got hundreds. Now, um, this is divided. Um, we can't fit it here such small scales. So you will note that 10 hundreds is the same as 1 tenth. I want you to pause here at this moment and then explain why this is like that. Okay, welcome back. And now what we're going to do is, um, this is also something that you might need or need to revise again. It's the fraction chart or the fraction wall chart, uh, fraction strips. Um, it's known by various names. Um, please use them. Um, practice them. Look at it. Um, look, make questions like uh, two sixes. It's equal to one third. A half is equal to what? It's equal to two quarters, three sixes. Um, very, very important to use this chart to make your own sums or to compare two fractions. Then um, what we're going to look at, question five, 
um, will be then your homework, but um, the next will be then activities that you will do. Um, you can do it in your SA teacher worksheet book, or you can use the lesson plans and then do it in a different writing book. Remember, this first lesson is just a revision of what we have been doing in grade six. So um, I just quickly go to look at this um, number line, look very carefully at it because zero starts here and year one stops. So year it's divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth. So what we're going to do is we're going to count in ninths. So it's one ninth, this one will be eight ninths and then one. Year it will be then one and one ninth. So look very carefully where did we place the one when we did the question. Um, then you're going to, there's a question where you're going to count into quarters, um, write it down, um, say it orally, um, and then we're going to come to the problem solving. Please don't skip this. Very important to keep mentally fit um, and to become problem solvers of the future. Then the extra activities, this is always coming up from old exam papers. Um, so please try to complete them. Um, think carefully um, and really try to look at the differences between A, B, and C in this case. Then what we have is some EMISA examples as well, um, where you're going to solve some problems. Um, then lastly, for the teacher or the parent, the cost consolidation, but at this stage, the learners are also big enough to do it themselves, where they look at these questions, say yes or no. If they all answer yes, they can carry on with the next lesson. If there's a no, maybe they need to go um, look again at certain questions, or you need to contact us at SA Teacher. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.